Hi, so right now we're gonna walk you through how to rig and tune your 2020 Matrix rigs. So the Matrix, uh, actually we recommend that you can use either uh, RDM or SDM in sizes 5.7 to 6.7. And then in sizes above that, you're, you're, you're supposed to be using uh, SDM mast only. So, and the carbon content that we recommend that you use is between a 70% mask for lower level sailors, beginners, and uh, guys on a budget. And if you're looking for uh, to get a little bit more performance from your rig, then we suggest that you use a 90%. So going ahead and rigging your, your sail, you wanna look for somewhere nice and, uh, nice and green, nice and grassy with no sharp rocks or any kind of dirt around. So once you've done that, you can take your sail bag, look at the uh, look at the settings that are on the sail bag or at the bottom of the sail, and you can adjust your boom and your extension to fit those settings. So you can see which mast recommendation, uh, the boom size and uh, the extension that you should be using on those. Uh, once you've done that, you should take your mast and make sure that the ferrule is nice and clean and also give a, give a, a bit of a clean around the bottom where you're going to put the extension in so you don't have any problems uh, once you've derigged to take your mast apart again. Once you've done this, once you've uh, made sure that the mast is together nicely, you can then unroll your sail and then begin to thread the mast up the luff sleeve. So you can do this nice and gentle. You don't need to be forcing the mast up the sleeve, just hand over hand until you find that the, the head of the mast is in the top of the sail. And you wanna to go to the top of the sail and make sure that the cap is actually inside of the uh, mast and not just sitting on the side because once you put tension on, then, uh, then it, if it's not nicely sitting in top of it, it could, uh, it could uh, explode at the top so uh, make sure it's sitting nicely in the top there um, so some of the smaller sizes of matrix have a uh, smaller variable heads so what I wanted what you can do then uh, if you've, you're using a longer than uh, recommended mast is just to go to the top of the variable head and set the uh, set the head so uh, you have as little as possible of the mast sticking out the top of the sail and then go back to the bottom of the cell and you can pull and uh, thread, your, thread your downhole rope and then set, uh, pull a bit of downhole. So usually I pull about 80% downhole first of all. Um, if, you're, if the ropes are all crossed over, then uh, sometimes that would lead to chafing in the rope and then there's wear and tear and then before long you can, uh, it can cause your downhole rope to break, which you don't wanna happen if you're out in the water. So just check that uh, there's no uh, crossovers of the rope. Uh, once you've done the downhaul at 80%, then you can put your boom on. And I usually put the boom on uh, in the middle of the boom cutout and then tighten up the in hull. And then I go around, thread the out hull rope and then pull on uh, the recommended, down, uh, recommended out hull amount. Once this is done, I then come back around to the bottom of the mast and I'm going to pull the rest of the downhaul on to the recommended uh, amount. But I, all the time I want to be checking at the top, I can see if, uh, if the sail has uh, got a nice open leech and uh, I don't want to over pull the downhaul because that will uh, make the leech really open and it will suck all the shape out the sail and make the sail feel really uh, unstable and not very, not very nice uh, when you're out sailing. Likewise, again, if you put too little downhaul on, then the sail is gonna feel like you've got a lot, like a balloon in the hands. You'll be able to get plane in really quite early, but it's gonna have a lot of pressure in the hands and it's not gonna have a lot of acceleration. So as you get used to rigging the sails, you'll, you'll, get, you'll become accustomed to knowing exactly what downhaul to put on. Once the downhaul is put on, I'm going to go back to the outhaul again and I'm going to make a small adjustment to the outhaul. So depending on the conditions uh, and whether I need to have a bit more belly in the sail, I'm going to pull or let off some of the outhaul. Usually I don't like to have uh, too much outhaul or, or too little so that the boom is touching, uh, the sail is touching the, 
the boom. So I want to find a nice in between that has still shape in the sail, but uh, also is not touching the boom or is not too flat that I'm not able to pump the sail. So once I've done that, I'm going to go back and take a batten tensioner and I'm going to tension the battens in the sail. Uh, most importantly is the is to put the right tension on the battens beneath the uh, boom and the one above the boom. So these are the profile shaping uh, battens in the sail. So I want to make sure I give these a good tighten, make sure there's the right amount of tension on them. And for the top battens, I can I want to put as much tension on as I can, but I don't want to over tighten them so that I cause uh, any S bending in them. So you just need to have a look at them, make sure you don't S bend them, that they're making any weird kind of shape, turning inside out or anything like that. And once that's done, then I'm going to go make sure that my outhaul and my downhaul is tied off. Uh, on the bottom of the sails, we actually have a batten, we have a pocket to put the excess rope in. So I'm going to tuck that away in there. And then next I'm going to adjust the boom height. Uh, I want to have my boom height anywhere between my nose and my chin. That's a, about the right height for a normal powered up sailing. So I set that and then I'm ready to get out on the water. So next we're going to talk about uh, tuning the sail. So on the Matrix, uh, it actually has a little bit more of a racing profile. It's actually a pedigree race performance free ride sail with no cams. So uh, compared to something like a uh, like a, uh, a wave sail, you're going to you're going to see that you're going to want to see uh, the leech a little bit more open, a little bit more uh, falling away from uh, from the sail. So uh, and also uh, you want to make sure that uh, you don't pull too much on that you take all the shape out from uh, the battened area. You want to make sure that the battens still sit nice and firmly at least on center uh, of the mast so you have a good strong rotation and keeps it nice and locked in. A good sign that if you've over, uh, over downhauled your sail is uh, it will feel quite twitchy, won't have a lot of backhand pressure and it might, f it might fall to the back of the board easily uh, if you sail into a gust or into a hole where you're not perfectly powered up. Uh, likewise, if you've pulled not enough downhaul, the sail is going to feel pretty powerful in the hands and you're not going to have as good a sail acceleration or, or top end speed. So you want to find a happy balance between keeping a little bit of backhand power in your, in your hands and a nice balance feel. So uh, that's how you do, that's how you tune your downhaul. Next with the outhaul, uh, it really depends on um, how, uh, how much wind there is. Uh, so you want to have enough outhaul in the cell so it's not ballooning and not blowing out completely and sitting on the boom. Uh, and likewise, you don't want to have it too flat because again, that's going to make the sail feel really twitchy. So it's quite easy to adjust the outhaul whilst you're on the water, but try to set it so it's maybe you can push your hand down on top of the sail and you can just make it the sail touch the end of the touch the boom. Uh, and that should feel about right once the air is, uh, is fully pressured in the sail. Um, also, a, a good, good thing to check when you're out going out sailing every day is to check the batten pressure again. So you want to make sure that, again, the profile battens have a lot of tension in them, uh, just so you can keep the skeleton of the, of the sail nice and locked. Uh, the upper battens, uh, just check, make sure that you are uh, putting enough tension on that there's uh, that they, there's as little creases in the sail as possible, but not to over tension in it so that you have S bending. Now on the matrix, we actually have two eyelets for the outhaul. This is actually a quite a useful uh, tuning technique because uh, the upper upper one generate putting uh, the outhaul on the upper eyelet creates a little bit more power closes the 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 uh, middle of the leech of the sail a little bit so if you're underpowered you put the upper one 
if you are struggling to hold down the sail and uh, you're a little bit overpowered, then you can switch to the bottom one. That takes a little bit of backhand pressure out the sail, allows the sail to open up a little bit more and feel a lot more manageable. Next thing I would tune and adjust on my matrix is the boom height. Um, depending on how windy it is, if I'm lacking power, I want to have a nice high boom. So I might push the boom up to around between my nose and my eye line height and uh, if I feel like I've got a lot of power I'm getting lifted or I'm having problems with control then I would lower my boom down to my chin or, or just below that that way I'm able to sit nice and low when I'm riding um, also another trick for uh, for extending the range of your equipment is uh, to have adjustable harness lines so if you have adjustable harness lines uh, it's nice to have them really nice and kind of short and gives you a bit of pressure and feedback from the boom uh, when it's nice and light. If you're struggling and it's overpowered conditions, then you just lengthen them so you're able to sit nice and deep to cope with the challenging conditions. And that's how you rig and tune your 2020 matrix sail.